Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator. And the other day in our hero group, Connie asked, uh, Connie's a member of the hero group. He asked, I have a mouse which has extra buttons on it. And he was saying, hey, I'd like to be able to do different things with these buttons, you know, depending on wh what we're I'm working in or whatever. And how would I go about doing this? And so the first thing I thought of, and I'll, I'll try to remember to put the URL up here right now, was um, we have a example where you could have a long press for a hotkey and have it do different things depending on how long you hold down that button. I think that'd be very easy to adapt to it. But then I realized, hey, you know what? Um, let me let me share my screen here. We could easily make it where, like right now, if I scroll up, if I move over my taskbar and I scroll up or down, you can see my volume over here in the far left changing, right? If I'm over here, it doesn't do it. Of course, it, it worked just like the normal scroll, but here it does. And I thought, you know, why don't we use the same approach to make it where when I'm over a certain program, like here over Notepad, and I hit this, it's going to say, hey, mouse is over Notepad. But if I click it here, it's mouse is not over any of these because I've also built it to where if it's over the taskbar, it's over that. So What's really cool about this to me is the program isn't active, right? We are just mousing over it and notice like then again, I went over it, but I didn't activate it and it detects that, right? So it's really cool. Um, let's jump into the code here real quickly. So I borrowed this from a post from Lexicos, a long, long, actually the link I had from my original script, um, it's really funny because it was, um, it had the .NET, autokey.net, so it was really old. Anyway, the, this is the general function, mouse is over. <laughs> So this is the function you need in order to do it. And then you would just use the if command or a directive, excuse me. So the, the if directive, you're gonna say, hey, if mouse is over and then put in the class you're looking for. Now in this case, and actually um, I added to it because Windows, what is it like maybe eight or so has the system tray. It can be your taskbar can be here or you can have a second or third one depending on how many monitors you have. So that's what this secondary tray one, it'll work for either of those if you want that. You don't have to have that functionality, right? But um, that's why when I hit the X button one over the taskbar, it does one thing. So when I click it, it does this. It detects the mouse is over that class, right? Um, when I'm over Notepad and this, so this one we're using a class, this one we're using the XE, and then of course, I throw in this last if to turn off the context sensitivity, and this will just say, hey, it's, if it's neither of those, it's, it's not over any of them, right? So I just said, I just turn it back off, and it just is the default one, right? Let's let's add Studio. Let's show you. So, you know, the simplest way would be to right-click a running script, say Windows Spy, click in. So here's Studio. So I could either take this one and use it as the EXE example, or I could take the class example. Let's go ahead and use the class example. Um, so let's, here's the class example. I'm going to duplicate it, get rid of that. Oh, I don't need that. Move that to here. And then I'm going to put in that full thing here. So now we're there and let's of course take the, this one and mount over studio. So now reload my script. <laughs> now when I press it, Hey, mouse is over studio, right? So just imagine how you can tie, and of course you don't have to use, I'm using this X button one, which is one of those extra kind of buttons on your mouse. You could have this in any program to say, hey, when I do this click, you know, in this program, when I'm over the program, not even in it, um, do one thing when I'm not in it, do something else. So, you know, in a day and age where some of us are running short on hotkeys and hot strings and, you know, mouse clicks, uh, this really opens up the door for doing context sensitive stuff very simply. So again, it doesn't have to be active. It's just your mouse is in a certain spot, which I think is really cool. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did learn something here, please like the video. It really helps me out. We get a lot more views when people like the videos. So you're really doing me a favor here. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, consider subscribing. We release usually two to three videos a week. And we're the largest auto hotkey channel. I have over 1200 videos on auto hotkey. And if you're not a subscriber, really consider subscribing because we, we release some really cool stuff. We do a lot more advanced stuff than, you know, what most channels do. We don't really teach you exactly the specifics. This is kind of a, a niche where it's, it's a little different, right? It's a different approach, uh, but there's lots of great stuff and we keep dumping out great videos. So give it a, give it a consider or join the hero group. I'll put the link up here. Uh, it's a great group. We we give you access to our private Telegram, and then twice a week, well, 
two hours on Fridays and one hour on Saturdays, we have private Zoom calls. We don't stream to YouTube and we just help work with the, the hero members. And then of course, during the week, people are asking questions all the time in Telegram. And then we you know, point them in the right direction. We don't always jump in and Zoom to help them, right? But we can point them in the right direction. And it's just like having an auto hockey expert at your fingertips, right? Where you can bounce a question off and get some quick direction. So give us some thought. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.